my friends, today the grocery gods have smiled upon me. I got a lot of really good deals at Smith's. Also, is anybody else's home covered in Valentine's leftovers from this week? I, my house is trashed with candy wrappers and cardboard boxes that I'm not allowed to throw out yet because they're special. There's stuff everywhere. But seriously, I stopped by Smith today after a work meeting to pick up a prescription. And I was like, I'll just see what the deals are. I pulled up the app while I was in there and they didn't really have anything that seemed like that great of a deal on their app. I was like, I'll just walk around and see. And lucky me, I found some really good deals, like superb deals. Superb. That I'm really excited about and are gonna save us a lot of money over the next couple weeks. Okay, first I saw this. This was not on clearance. This is actually the only thing I bought that wasn't on clearance, um, but it was on sale. Um, so a bit different. I think it was, yeah, it was two ninety nine a pound instead of three ninety nine a pound. But um, I've really been wanting like some kind of soup, like a split pea or like a white bean and ham soup. So this is a thick old sucker, five bucks. We're going to make that for Sunday dinner, I think this week. And then all the rest of this, da -da -da -da, these little gem of a deal stickers. Okay, first I stopped by the bakery area. And this is like 10 croissants for $3.63, originally 10 bones. I'm super excited. I saw these and thought, oh my gosh, a chicken salad sandwich. Sounds amazing right now. And I can kind of get my kids to eat it. So we are going to eat this this coming week too. And I'm pretty pumped. All right, we'll come back to here. Oh, I also found these. Now, I think these are like an insane ripoff. Look at that. There's like a third of a cup's worth of food in here, and the normal price is $2. But these are 80 cents. So I saw them and thought, you know what? I'm a busy lady. These will be good. So my kids would actually only eat the cheese and the cashews. They wouldn't eat the ham. My husband and I will, so we'll either just kind of let them snack on these on the weekend and we'll eat the ham, or my husband and I will take these to work to have for snacks this week because, you know, $2 for this is ridiculous. 80 cents is okay. I can deal with 80 cents. You still might be able to get something more substantial from a vending machine, but it's okay. I also saw these. I've never had these before. Uh, a sheet pan dinner starter. I like things like this. So it's a sauce patch and seasoning packet. Originally, oh, where'd you go? Originally $2.49, a buck each. You just kind of add the meat and the veggies and veggie oil and pop it in the oven. So I'm excited to try it. I'm trying to think if there's a way I could do it like vegetarian if I felt like it, if I wanted to just like open up a can of um, chickpeas or even do some like tofu or something because I like tofu. So I grabbed two of them to try. Hopefully they're good. I feel like it'll be good. I think it'll be a good thing. Also saw these. I don't, again, I don't think I've ever bought these in my life, but $1.44 instead of $3.60 for six of them. I am like struggling to get enough fruit lately. So I, my kids probably won't eat these, but my baby will actually. My girls won't, but the baby will. And I think this will be good for me just to throw into my purse for work. This, however, I am very excited about. This is a 20 pack of these dang go go squeezes, which I do not buy because they are ridiculously expensive. It was open already. So I counted and they're all there. Guess what the price is? Oh my gosh, it's too heavy to do with my hand. Uh, 528 originally $11.99. Holy cow, I'm so excited. My girls do love applesauce a lot. Um, and I'm just really excited for this. Fun fact, my kids aren't, they're, they're getting better eating vegetables. But for a long time, all we did, like could really do for like vegetables, was to buy like the kid pouches of these things, not the applesauce ones, but like the baby ones, like for the toddlers, where it's got like sweet potatoes and kale and spinach and chia seeds and quinoa and all sorts of stuff in them. And my kids love those. They will still eat those if I get them for them today, but they're like $1.30 each. And so kind of ridiculous. Um, so glad that we got these. Again, these are so easy just to like take when we're out and about um, or in a lunchbox. Okay, I also saw these instant oatmeal chocolate flavored, $1.52 per pack. Oh, my hand's shaky. Instead of $3.79. I don't know if my kids will like this. 
I wouldn't blame them if they don't because instant oatmeal is disgusting. I didn't like any oatmeal until I was well into my 20s and still I pretty much only like steel cut oats. I can do old fashioned oats sometimes, but like, well, instant oatmeal is just the grossest texture. But if they don't like this, you can use instant oatmeal packets to make muffins and those taste good. So those aren't bad at all. So if my kids don't like these, I'll turn them into muffins, get a little protein in there. That'll be good. Also, give me a thumbs up if you think oatmeal is disgusting, at least instant oatmeal, because steel cut oats for the win, my friends, significantly better than these nasty things. And also for these, I will link down in the notes where, like the link that I use for the recipe to make oatmeal packets into muffins, because I think that is a very valuable recipe to have. Okay, and then this little buddy. Um, I love rice cakes. I do not think of them as a diet food. I think they're just delicious. Even like plain ones or like lightly salted ones. You slap some avocado on that sucker. That is delicious. Also, I've done cottage cheese and some uh, sunflower seeds sprinkled on them. Very good. But these are flavored ones. Those are also just tasty by themselves. Or if you want to top them with something, you could. My kids also like rice cakes. So I saw these. Check these out. $4.40 was $10.99. That is a smoking deal. The nice thing is there's 14 bags in each of them. So I've got 28 of these rice cakes and I don't think my kids are going to want them every day in their lunchbox, but even if they did, they would have almost, almost a full three weeks worth for my two girls to take one bag each day. That is a good deal for three weeks worth of snacks because snacks are expensive, you know, and we'll probably mix it up with, you know, the rice cakes and the apple sauces and whatever else I make, like if I make muffins this week or any other, like putting in Valentine's Day treats that they've got in there in their lunch boxes. So this stuff should last several weeks unless my husband falls in love with them too. And all four of us are eating them every day. That'll be less, but still a great deal. Guys, the grand total for all this food, $34.52. That's awesome. Also, I just realized that's in there. That's a sensory bin. That's the only place we had room to put it. Anyways, back to the price, $34.52. Hot dang, that's a good deal. Especially as you look around at all this stuff, every single one of those clearance items was more than 50% off. That And then the ham was about 30% off, but everything else was well over 50% off. So this grand total would have been into the 60s. That's crazy. Like this isn't so much food that I would think, yeah, $60 worth of food. But holy cow, this is like name brand. Name brand, name brand, name brand, name brand, name brand, really expensive crap. Well, food, not crap. So, I mean, I rarely buy name brand because I don't care if the name brand happens to be cheaper than the store brand because of a sale. Heck yeah, I'll get it. But I have no loyalty to name brand stuff for the vast majority of groceries because it's all the same. But I will buy what's cheapest and still good quality. So being able to get all this food for $34 instead of the over $60, I feel, like I said, that the grocery gods have smiled down upon me today and gave me a lot of savings. So I've got some great components for meals for this coming week. I've got the ham I'm going to make a bomb soup for, the croissants I'm going to make some chicken salad sandwiches with, and um, these things. Uh, I don't know if I'll use these this week, but I've got them for the future but I'm just like really excited about the savings and snacks because snacks are so expensive and the kids love them and mom and dad love them and we need the convenience because we have two working parents in our home <laughs> and it's nuts. It's nuts here, you guys. Um, but the kids got to eat and sometimes you got to pay a little extra to have a little more convenience and you can spend time with your kids after work instead of having to like prep everything every day for the rest of your life. So I'm, yes, excited for the price and the benefit there. I'm also excited for the time savings because I like my kids. I want to spend time with them and my husband. I don't want to spend all night after they go to bed meal prepping for the next day because I easily could. These kids, they're great. They take a lot of work. <laughs> so I will take the conveniences as they come. Anyways, thanks for coming along today and seeing my sweet grocery haul. 
Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe below if you would like to see more content like this. Thanks, and I will see you in my next video.